Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody tonight? Oh, I can see I've got some comments already. Amy was here early and she got her order. So that's great. Isn't that, that cute? I thought so too. I really like the face on him. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Great. I'm glad it arrived safe and sound. That's what we like to hear. And who else has we got? Maggie's here. You got your mystery box all safe and sound. Oh, good. Aren't those vases gorgeous? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I thought those were good, too. That was from the um, Terminal City uh, uh, Co-op, right? The Glass Co-op. Yeah, very cool. Hey, Julie. Nice to see you. Hi, how are you tonight? And Cece Gill, hi. Hi, nice to see you. Oh, there's Jenny and Stacy. Hey, Stacy Brinkley. Haven't seen you in ages. Nice to see you. That's great. <laughs> Is Lisa here as well? Have I missed her? Yeah, oh, there's Lisa. Yeah, for sure. Excellent. Lisa got your email. It was Lisa got the, I don't know if you remember them, but the hand blown flowers um, from the glass sale. And she sent me a wonderful picture of them in her garden in a in a nice pot. And I just loved it. It looked really, really neat. So Great use, <laughs> great use of them. Nice to see you guys tonight. Well, I got some fun stuff to tell you about tonight. How is everybody doing? What's going on in your worlds? Is uh, are people going back to the office and talking? You know, I saw a post that poor old Jamie's going back to. Or no, it wasn't Jamie. It was uh, uh, Fatbird Finds. Um, uh, Laura, right? I uh, was going back to the office. So yeah, there's lots of talk around that in my world too about going back and ugh. <laughs> it's going to be a big transition back, isn't it? Hot in Edmonton. Oh, 30. Oh my gosh, I'd die. I would die. <laughs> I am not good in that kind of heat. Oh, I remember Edmonton being that hot. Yeah. Really hot in the summer, cold in the winter, really, really cold in the winter. <laughs> I remember minus 30 and minus 40 when I lived in Edmonton. So, yeah, that's that's the thing with, with Edmonton, right? It's, it's one or the other. Um, I, I think we have a few new people tonight. I got some registration, so welcome. And I uh, hope you'll say hi in the chat. Oh, you got AC. That's good, Amy. That makes a big difference for sure. And if you haven't subscribed yet, um, or sort of registered for the sale, you need to go to vintageress.com and I will, uh, and you, you'll send me your, you fill out the form there and it will come to me and then you're all set to go. You can buy away and I'll be able to send you an invoice on PayPal. Um, so yeah, 61 freezing oh in washington state oh yeah that's that's a bit chilly yeah it's a bit chilly here too and we're close to washington state so uh yeah we've had rain really you oh what are you gonna do with those buttons you're not sure they were an impulse buy <laughs> isn't that honest that's an honest answer i am an impulse buyer of buttons too <laughs> i love buttons <laughs> Well, I'm sure you'll find something neat to do with them because, you know, buttons can be used in a lot of different ways. Hey, proud American. Nice to see you. <laughs> and Barb. Oh, great. That's great. Nice to see you, Barb. Excellent. Well, so I, the first thing I wanted to tell you about is that uh, I bought some stuff on the Curiosity Inc. auction. So... I thought I would share with you the pictures of what I got at the auction. So they had this auction on Saturday for the, um, what are they calling this one? The collector's house, I think it's called. Are they, yeah, I think that's what they're calling it, the collector's house. So this was the couple that, um, you know, are still alive and she's got some mobility issues. And so they needed to sort of clear out the house. And so I was able to buy two lots, two mystery box lots um which i was pleased about and so i'll be able to um uh you know be able to show you guys when i get it and do an unboxing and we'll see together what i got but i'll, I'll show you the pictures i'll share my screen here and and just show you uh you know what i bought and you can tell me if what you think of them um 
So here we go. So here's here's one of the first ones. Um, so yeah, so this kind of tells you a little bit about the size of the box, although they cut it down. So, you know, 16 by 12 by 12 ish. So it's not a huge box. Um, and so this coffee jar is really what kind of caught my eye because I really liked that. I thought that was really cool. This is a kind of a fun old toy. <laughs> And then retirement crying towel. I don't know. Would you be crying if you were if you were uh, retiring? I don't know. Hmm. Um, and then so that's one of the boxes. Um, and then the other one. Okay, let me find this picture now. Oh, da, 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 da. How do I do this one? There it is. Okay, so this was the other box. Now this one is the one that kind of intrigues me a bit more because it's quite, it looks to me to be quite a big box. I mean, look at the size of this creamer. So, you know, you got one, two, three, four, maybe five creamers tall. Um, and this, I think, uh, Julie and I were talking about it, Julie AJ Retro. And I think those are, I think she's right. I think they're Carlton Ware. Um, I don't know about this bowl. Looks a bit new to me, but we'll see. And then this is Nippon. It says right there, Nippon, fifteen dollars. So it's a nice little, I guess, little miniature teapot or creamer. I'm not sure. So it should be interesting to see, right? What's what's in this box? But um, yeah, so a little bit of an interesting adventure. I love these mystery boxes. They're always my mom would would laugh about it because when I was a kid, I was a sucker for junk or the grab bags you know when you see those grab bags in the stores and you can you know you get a mixture of stuff well i would always want to grab because <laughs> i just love them so yeah yeah good deals yeah i paid uh what did i pay 35 for each box but then you've got to add on all their fees and shipping and blah 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 so i probably will see i'm guessing it'll be somewhere around 100 bucks for the two boxes so you know, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what I what I was able to get, right? So, I'll definitely do some unboxing, uh, you know, videos of them when when they arrive. And I I did buy something else from a Kasner auction, but not a Curiosity Ink one, and it came really really fast. So I'm hoping this time that I see it a lot faster than I did with the Madame Rack stuff. So so we'll see, right? Ice cream truck had grab eggs, and I love the grab eggs at the Hello Kitty store. Yeah, I know. I just, oh, man, I love the grab bags. Yeah, <laughs> always love the grab bags. Um, so we'll also do tonight, we'll do the uh, $10 off. Oh, you recognize that? Oh, you think it's from Kazakhstan? Really? Oh, wow. That's interesting. Huh. Yes, I just talked about that, Stephanie. So you'll have to watch back. I just show the two pictures. I got two lots of um, of mystery mystery boxes uh, from the the auction. So you'll have to watch the replay, and you can see the pictures. And and uh, yeah, when I get them, I'll do an unboxing. So um, so we'll do the ten dollar off your order again. So I'll do the random number draw at the end to see who gets the ten dollars off their order. And I also have the five items for $5 as well tonight. So um, so once again, if you're a brand new person, this is the first time watching, please pre-register at Vintagers.com. I am an experienced reseller. I've been doing it since 2011 on Etsy um, and then just started this YouTube channel not even a year ago. Um, and so, yeah, I sell in U.S. dollars and I... Uh, ship from Canada, from the west coast of Canada. And shipping usually ranges from around $10.50 to, you know, 15 and then 20 or, or 25 if it's like a bunch of things together or big bulky items. Um, so that's roughly what the shipping will be. Uh, nice to see you back, Blackie Jr. <laughs> Soviet era porcelain. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's really interesting, Coast Home. I will definitely check out the the you know if it's see if it's marked when it comes and we can have a chat about that that's interesting um yeah so i have these sales every tuesday night at 6 p.m pacific 
And the way it works is I will send out invoices tomorrow, pack stuff up and, and uh, you know, do all the, the shipping quote and so on uh, tomorrow. And then I have, then you pay on Thursday and it ships on Friday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and boom, boom, boom. You got what am I am from the auction, Maggie? Oh, you got a turquoise vase. Oh, interesting. You have to pay premium. Oh, are you afraid? Are afraid of what? The total cost? Yeah. Well, you should have had, got your invoice. Check your email because you should have your invoice, and uh, you'll see how it all totals up. Yeah. And then the shipping cost for sure on top of that. Hey, Hannah. Hannah's here. My daughter Hannah is Whole Foodie Challenge. Great. Nice to see you, Hannah. Um, and if you do buy something and you'd like to wait to do a combined shipping with next week's sale, you can do that. I will allow for two sales to be combined. Uh, you just have to let me know tonight, like tonight, so I don't pack it up and I just hold on to it for you until next week and I'll invoice and pack things up next week after your, after the sale. Um, yeah. And so the way it works is I will show you an item. So say I show you these earrings and I'll tell you a little bit about them and then I'll tell you how much they are. And uh, and then I will tell you a number and it's the number that I say. So say I say these are ten dollars. They're not. I think they're more than that. fifteen. Let's say fifteen dollars. And the number is and I'll show you a card with a number on it. You type that number into the chat. The first person that types the number is the one that gets to uh, purchase these items. Uh, I also might do what's called an offer up. Well, again, I'll show you the item. I'll describe it, tell you if there's any condition issues or anything like that. And then I will tell you what the starting bid is and you put your offers in the chat and the top offer is the one that gets the item. So hopefully it's simple. It's, it's, I know it's daunting at first, so don't worry. There are probably some of my moderators, anybody with a, a um, what is it, a blue wrench uh, in the chat, you can ask them questions and they will help you out uh, and answer your questions if I don't see it in the chat, okay? Because I get kind of razor focused when I'm showing goodies, right? So it's hard to see the chat and do that too. So are we ready to rock and roll? Are we all, are we all ready to, to see what I have tonight? Okay. Hmm. So the first thing I have tonight is this crocheted um, table runner. And I'm just going to take it out of the paper. My mom starched it and washed it for me. So it's a really nice, quite a long uh, table runner um, that's, you know, crocheted. Oh, I forgot to measure it. So let me grab my ruler here. But I'm thinking it is, let's see, it's 15. Yeah, about 30. 30 by about 15. Let's say 15. 15 by 30. Okay. So that's the first item. And I need my cards. So this first, this uh, crocheted table runner or dresser scarf or whatever you want to use it for, right, is <laughs> $6 and it's number 56. So $6, number 56 for this crocheted runner. That gets us started. Okay. Now... Next thing, I have, oh, I've got this little, this really pretty little bowl. And this is Polish glass. And the reason I know is because I've bought a few pieces like this over the years. And they've all kind of had this kind of curly cute uh, foot on them, which I think is really neat. And I uh, just want to see something there. It felt kind of rough. Let me just make sure that it's not. Well, it's just the, it's the way they finished it at the end, though. It's just a little bit rough at the end, but it's a crystal bowl. There is, you know, it's nicely polished and it I'm sure has a nice ring to it. Polish crystal is pretty good, right? But I just love the little peachy pink little feet on it. 
if I can get this to focus a bit better. There we go. So nice little dish. So this dish is $9 and it's number 47. $9, number 47 for the Polish glass little footed dish. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so too. Really neat hand blown feet on there. Okay. Um, oh, <laughs> next thing I've got is a funny little tin toy from the 60s. It's a little robot. Um, but what I realized after buying it is it's missing the, you know, the key to turn it to make it walk. So I can't make it walk. So it would be a good little decor piece. But I think he's kind of cute. <laughs> And so he is $9 and he's number 54. $9, number 54 for this cute little tin toy. <laughs> Pretty with buttons in it. Yes, wouldn't it? 47. Okay, so you want the Polish bowl? Okay, you got it, Maddie. You got it. <laughs> Okay, so that's Mr. Robot. Oh, did you see my Instagram picture? I put this mermaid, right? This mermaid, which I'll is coming up pretty soon, but not right now. But with it, I had this little puppy dog. And I did a picture where, you know, she was kind of looking. Let's see if I can get the do it again. So she was kind of, well, no, I want it this way, don't I? She was kind of looking off at this puppy and the puppy was kind of looking at her. And, then, and I asked you guys for captions. The best caption that came in was Melissa um, came in with one and it was, is my butt too big? <laughs> Which I thought was a great, was a great little, uh, a, a great caption for that shot. So you have to look on Instagram and you can see what I'm talking about. But what I want to show you now is this little sweet puppy. So what do you think? Cocker Spaniel is what I'm thinking. Cocker Spaniel. I didn't find a mark on him, but he's got a cute little face. He's looking up, looking up at you, wanting a treat. Um, and so this puppy dog, little figurine, he's $12 and he's number 42. Look at that face. How can you not love that little face? Isn't that cute? <laughs> yeah I thought he was so sweet it's funny that he's not like he looks J J Japan right he definitely looks like he's made in Japan but no I don't see a Japan stamp on him 42 so that you want that see I'll see you got it okay now the next thing this one kind of surprised me I mean I liked it but I didn't realize how much it was worth when I when I grabbed it. So this is what I'm going to show you next. Very cool. Kind of looks like Catherine Holmes. It reminds me of Catherine Holmes sort of tinware. It's not coming out. It's coming out as kind of washed out, but it's because of my ring light, I think. But it's a turquoise, um, what they call, um, uh, what do they call it? Um, Harlequin. Harlequin pattern. And it's an Anna... Elsner, El, Anna Elzer Oscarson, who, who is a Swedish, quite famous Swedish designer. And I had no idea. So, but I just really like the shape of it. Um, it's not super old. I, I'm guessing sort of 80s, 90s, you know. Um, and these guys go for a lot of money. I was shocked. Looks very mid century, yes. Very good design on it. I was shocked, like the you know, 20, 30, 40 dollars for some. I saw these listed at different amounts. I'm giving it to you for 12. So 12 dollars for this wonderful, very cool shaped mug. It does have a really cool vintage vibe, very mid-century vibe to it. Yeah. And very Catherine Holmes to me, too. It reminds me of that. So that's that. Definitely has a vintage look to it. Absolutely. 
definitely has a kind of min minimalist uh, design look to it. And the next thing I have, you might have seen in my preview on Instagram, and that is these fun ice cream dishes. Look at the colors. Aren't those awesome? So they're glass. And they're like clear, clear glass here. And then it's like a coated uh, coating here. But it's not, um, what's the word for it? It's not like flashed on. It's actually fired on. Like this is, these, these real, I was expecting to see um, a, an Italian, Italy mark on the bottom. I was totally expecting to see that these were made in Italy. They very, very well may be, or France, but they're not marked. So, I'm not sure, and I couldn't find any comps. So, um, but I just thought these were just super fun for ice cream or fruit or whatever. So there's orange, there's yellow, and they're kind of kind of washed. They're not; they are bright colors, but the the light is kind of washing them out. A blue, nice cobalty blue, and this kind of celadon kind of green. Okay. So those four super fun for summer uh, ice cream dishes are uh, the set of four is $18 and number 66, $18, number 66 for the set of four of these ice cream dishes. <laughs> Would hope this hold soup or salad. Yep. Anything like that, or desserts, like uh, puddings and things like that too, for sure, absolutely. Okay, so the mermaid. This mermaid, really neat piece. Okay, so I gotta show you all about her. So she's got a, like a dish that's a, a shell, and I don't know if it's gonna show up here, but she does have a bit of crazing. Can you see the crazing there? Try and get it to really focus here. So there definitely is some crazing on her. Where else did I see? You know, some crazing here on her chest as well. Um, let me try and get that showing up. And there is one chip, and the chip is here, right on her tail, but on the back side of her tail. Okay, but otherwise, no other damage than that. So I just want to be very clear on that. She's old. Um, there is a, um, uh, a designer called Freeman McFarlane, and he did very detailed, similar type uh, mermaid dishes. And so this is obviously kind of a nod to him um, from the, the 50s. This is definitely from the 50s. And it is a really pretty pink. Let me try and get a better shot of the pink on this because it's Quite, it's looking quite white again. This, maybe I'll just turn my, my, um, or, or here, hang on just a sec. Let me change it. I've got it on the white light. Let me change it to a yellow light and see if that helps to make the color more true here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. That's a bit better, I think. Um, so she's just gorgeous. So I'm going to start her off at $15, one five. One five. So she, and she's a you know she's a good size. Let's see here. She is uh, about eight inches. If I go to like the top of her ponytail, and she is eight inches wide too. So she's like a square, but she's definitely not a square, right? <laughs> really neat piece. Would look super fun in an entrance way. Yeah, thank you, Julie, for putting the start at 15. I really appreciate that. Really neat for, you know, you could use it for jewelry. You could use it in a bathroom as a soap dish. What else could you use it for? You know, a little catch-all kind of thing. Change, you could use it for change. A little change dish or tip, a tip thing near a cash register. That would be really fun, wouldn't it? Hi, Grimy the Griffin. <laughs> Yeah, she's thick. Yeah, she's got, well, she's sort of thick. You know, she's, <laughs> she's curvy. She's curvy is what she is. <laughs> she's curvy. 
And CC Gill wanted 66, and I didn't get that. Okay, thank you. I will put that down. CC Gill for the ice cream dishes. You got it. You got it. <laughs> oh, is Janet here too? Oh, great. Nice to see you, Janet. Yeah. So 15 for Grimy the Griffin. Do I have any other bids? Any other interest? Antiques from Karen. Okay. Making sure there weren't any other. Okay, so I'm going to count it down going once. Going once for $15. That's a steal, you guys. These go for quite a bit more on, you know, you'll be able to resell it if you want to. Uh, $15 is a great deal. Going twice. Going twice. No space for her. Yeah, I understand. She's gorgeous, though. And going three times and sold. So $15. Can I get somebody to just put in bid end or sold to Grimy the Griffin? And Grimy, I have you registered with me? I'll have to check. Yeah, so make sure that you've registered. Oh, you have. Yeah, I thought I think you bought something before, right? Yeah, I think you bought something before. Excellent. So you get this gorgeous mid-century. Uh, yeah, fantastic deal. Absolutely fantastic deal. Okay. That's what you get for coming to my channel. You get a good deal, right? All right. How about this for the next thing? We have a Fire King bubble bowl, right? Milk glass bubble bowl. That's the characteristic sort of, whoops, fire, fire, fire King bottom on that. Great size, perfect for a little uh, salad bowl or fruit dish. Um, and this is $9 and it's number 99. $9, number 99 for this bubble bowl. And I'll give you the dimensions here too. Whoops, clink. So it's eight inches by eight inches by two and a half. And that's Lisa. Now, Lisa. Now, Lisa, did you come to my last sale? Because there's two Lisas. And there was a Lisa that came and bought a brooch but and didn't contact me. So, Lisa, did you buy a brooch? Or is it the other Lisa? <laughs> You'll have to let me know. You did. You did buy the brooch? Okay. Well, I didn't get your registration. So can you please email me right away at Vintageous at Shaw.ca or better yet, go in and, and register by going to Vintageous.com. Oh, you didn't buy the brooch. I'm getting you mixed up. Okay. With the other Lisa. Okay. So you're, you're Lisa. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So you're, I gotcha. <laughs> Just to make everything confusing, right? Okay. So, Lisa, and I know your last name. I'll just make a note of that, too. Okay. Not from... Got it. Got it. Okay. So, the cookie cutters. Oh, I've got some fun cookie cutters. Got some really fun cookie cutters. So, I, uh, I found a big bag of different cookie cutters, and I... So I've sorted them out into kind of themes because they were really cool ones, like just different, different, different ones. And I'll show you what, why here in a minute. Okay, so I think the only one that I've seen before is this one. I've seen the sort of flower one before. So these are all kind of summer themed cookie cutters. So there's this one that's the flower. This one that I thought was really neat is like an angel fish, right? Uh, there's a butterfly. Isn't that fun? The butterfly would be fun to decorate. Now, this one is really different. A crab. Isn't that neat? A crab. <laughs> and then there's the big kind of salmon or trout type fish. And then this one that I'd never, ever seen before. And that is a sun. Isn't that fun? So I thought these were like very summery looking. 
So these cookie cutters are $9 and they're number 90. $9, number 90 for the summer cookie cutters. So you can make some fun sugar cookies with your kids or grandkids and uh, or for your family, right? In With a summer theme. <laughs> yeah, I think they're fun too, Julie, yeah. You could you could cut craft cakes with a craft cookie cutter. <laughs> you could, or you could make crab canapes. Proud American, you could you could uh, <laughs> right you could use it to cut the bread before you put the the crab pate on it or something. That would be fun too. <laughs> oh, salmon pates with a salmon cutter. There you go. You see now you're getting the the theme. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, now is Melissa in the house? I don't know if I saw her come. But what I've got next is a junk jewelry bag. So I don't know if there's crafters in the house that would like this junk jewelry. But I've got quite a bit of pieces in this bag. And what am I going to ask for this one? It's only $12, this one. Um, so you're going to get some fun stuff in here. So, And some of it's completely wearable. Um, so like this is the first one is a pair of earrings that look like that. Now this came all a lot of this came in a lot with some really amazing amazing jewelry like Sherman rhinestones and stuff. So um so that's one pair. And then there is I'll show you the wearable ones first and then I'll show you the ones that are kind of more broken. Uh, there's a, this pair of screw backs, and what has it got on it? Let's see. It's an eagle. I think it's an eagle. With it looks like a green rhinestone in the middle. Let's turn it the right way here. I'll focus. See, we'll focus there a minute. Oh, there. There we go. The screw back like that. Okay. Um, and then there's this one that's like a key. Now this is this one is I think was a pin, but the pin is you know broken on the back of it. So it's a great piece for junk jewelry making. Um, this is another brooch, but there's stones missing, so that's why it's in the bag. Um, Here's a couple of earrings again. These are screwbacks again that are missing stones. So they're in the bag. There is a pair. Now these are wearable. Nothing wrong with them. A pair of, um, they're not marked, but they're, they are, um, I guess it's kind of like a lucite. You see that? Lucite with like leaves on it. Um, these are kind of different. <laughs> Look at these, they're like plastic. They're made of like a kind of a flimsy, like, you know, rubbery kind of plastic with a rhinestone in the middle. Different, hey? Eh? They're clip-ons, they're old. <laughs> uh, then there's this pair. That are st uh, sterling, like a, um, no, they're not sterling silver, sorry, they're like a silver metal. Very retro, very, very retro. Uh, there's this, and I'm not even sure what this is. I mean, there is a, there is a um, stone missing, but why is it, look at the back of it. Anybody know what that is? Maybe it's for like putting some kind of perfume in or something. I'm not sure. Phyllis Diller earrings. Yes. Oh, wouldn't those make good owl eyes? You have that right. Absolutely right. Then there's this pair. Again, these are wearable. They're clip-ons. Boy, I'm putting a lot of wearables in this one. I didn't realize. So you're getting a real deal here um, with the pearls there and this gold tone metal. And then there are two pins. One says South Dakota and one says Bobcats. <laughs> it's 
So the Bobcats, I'm guessing, are a team, are they? Yeah. You think it was for perfume. Okay. And then this co coin, like, kind of, um, let's see, what does it say on it? I can't read the writing on here. Napoleon. Okay. But it's just like a thin kind of, it's not real, real coins. I'm not sure what that was part of. Like, the back is got a little kind of loopy thing on it. So, I mean, it would be good, again, for layering. And then there is this crown, or crown, cross, <laughs> cross, gold tone cross, right, quite a big one. Be great if you were going to be a nun for Halloween or something and you wanted a big cross, right? So all of this steel at $12, and then it's number 31, $12, number 31. Lots of wearable ones in here too. So you got a real assortment. Amy, you got it. Okay. Give me a second to put it all back in the bag. Okay, Amy. Thank okay, God, Amy. All right. You think it's for perfume? That's interesting. Okay. Uh, the next thing I have, oh, is the earrings. So now these ones are signed. These ones are a really good quality. These are Lisner um, signed clip-on earrings. Um, and they are really interesting. Like they're a kind of a, I don't know, kind of plastic it is. Um, and then rhinestones, just beautiful, really, really neat. And this kind of mint celadon, you know, type green. Um, and then here's the back of them too. I'll show you the back. Is there, the back's kind of neat too. Okay, come on, focus, focus, focus. Seem to be better when I hold it with this hand for some re weird reason. I don't know. But I'll show you the signature. It's on the back of the, the clip on there. There we go. Oh, upside down, of course. Get it to focus and then it's upside down. There we go. So there's the back with the Lisner signature. Hey, Suzanne. Nice to see you. Okay, so these are $15 for the Lisner clip-ons. $15 and number 75. Number 75. Hey, to Suzanne, so you came came late. Did you hear that I got two Curiosity Ink lots? <laughs> so that's some of the, my news for today. Uh, so that's number 75. And you want those, Amy? Okay, you got it. Um, the next thing I have is a wall. I would well, I would use it for the wall, but you can you can use it on a surface as well but a really pretty hand-painted, toll-painted uh, bowl. Really nice detail in there with the hand-painting. Really nice and colorful, perfect for summertime to give your, your house a little bit of color. And it's wood, so that's the back of it. Show some age there, All right? I think that's re it's really neat, though. I love these kind of black background i've always loved back black background and flowers for some reason as always as you probably guessed right with my postcards same idea i've always been drawn to that so 15 dollars number 33 for this beautiful bowl 15 dollars number 33 for the bowl <laughs> but bowl full of nacho chips yes <laughs> Yeah, isn't that great news, Suzanne? Yes. So you'll have to watch the beginning of the show and you can see the pictures and 
as soon as I get them, I will do an unboxing video. Um, probably two unboxings if there's two boxes. Um, yeah, so we can find out together what's inside them. So they're definitely a mystery. Okay, so wooden bowl was 33. Okay, the next thing I have is something for the mechanically minded people in the audience. Do we have any mechanically minded people? I have a Mechanics Illustrated from 1951. It was a whole 20 cents when it was first um, published. Now I haven't actually opened this, so let's open it together. It came like this when I bought it. This is just a piece of paper, I'm hoping. It's 1951. Or did they actually tape it on? I hope they didn't. Oh, they did. Why would they do that? Ugh. Okay. Um, so what it has in it is things like this. The quarter inch drill. And it's, uh, or I sure... I have a, a sure bet on the horses. It's in a whole article around horse, whoops, horse racing. I don't know how that has anything to do with mechanics, but okay. Home on the wheel. Oh, this is funny. Look at this one. Home on the wheels. <laughs> so it's all an old RV. And oh, looks like candle making. Visit a candle for electrified hotbed. So then they give you the, the, um, plans for a hotbed like a growing hotbed yeah anyway oh trains train storage now it does have that kind of old musty smell to it if you don't like that you won't like this but if you like that old musty smell and you're you'll be happy so this mechanics illustrated from 1951 um is six dollars and it's number 82, $6 number 82 for this Mechanics Illustrated from 1951. Really fun little read on a Sunday with a cup of, cup of coffee, right, Julie? <laughs> oh, you had tacos tonight? <laughs> oh, that's funny. And we were just talking about that. Okay. All right. You got to go have dinner. Bye, Nettie. Nice to see you. I'll send you the invoice then for that uh, that little bowl, unless you want me to hold off till next week. So let me know by email tonight if you want me to do that. Um, okay, the next thing I have, oh, <laughs> I have a fun thing. I found some Friendly Village mugs. I always find plates, but I've never found mugs before. And they're nice, nice size ones. They say the friend, the, the covered bridge. Right, so these are Johnson and Johnson, or Johnson 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 Brothers um, mugs. The Friendly Village. It's a very, very collectible transfer wear uh, because it has this red bridge. Okay, and it's a pair of them. I have a pair of them for you tonight. Um, so it says the covered bridge, the Friendly Village, made in England by Johnson Brothers, patent pending. That's the back stamp on there. Okay. So two of them. Cheers. Uh, the pair of these mugs is $15. $15 and it's number 46. $15 number 46 for the pair of mugs. Hey, Michelle. Nice to see you. Really cool little pair of mugs for 15 46 okay so 46 was the this mugs okay you got it Barb you got it all right okay the next thing I have is an offer up that will start at $15 so $15 starts us off and this is a Fostoria and it is the pink opalescent handkerchief heirloom bowl so what they do is they kind of take the glass and they kind of go whoosh like this, you know, to make it uh, up like a, a like a handkerchief. Um, you know, it's got the characteristic sort of polished base there. 
and the and the Faustoria kind of flowery shape. So has all the characteristics. Now this one is pink, but it's just not, I get this light tonight for some weird reason is not showing true colors, but it does have a real pinky opalescent tone to it. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, Barb. So $15 starts us off. Again, these are worth a good chunk of change. So 15 is an absolute steal if you get it for that. So 15 starts us off for this beautiful bowl. And it's a nice size, right? I would say it would hold like three or four apples if you wanted to put fruit in it, something like that. Like a nice small fruit bowl for a smaller table would be really neat for that. You could even use it as a candle holder with a, you know, a pillar candle. But I would only, I make sure that the bottom doesn't have any metal on it. You don't want to ever want to use a metal, like a metal um, tea light or something with glass, right? So $15. Let's start us off here. You got some nice mugs. Yes, you did. Absolutely. Oh, can you guys see the ring of fire here that I can see? Oh, boy. I wish I could show that to you. How can I show that to you? Hmm. Because th this just kind of crazy lit up with a ring of fire. Hmm. Darn. I can't show it anyway. That's too bad. But this is really neat. CLC at 15, wooden and mandarin oranges, wood, those, especially those little ones, right? It's not white, it's opalescent. Let me try and get close enough so you can see it or something here. I'll hold it still for a bit. It's kind of pink with like an opalescent tone to it. I'm going to try to moving my light a little closer to me. Maybe that'll help to sort of show the pinky tone to it. It's just not coming through at all. Yeah. 15 for CLC. See if I can get it to show up. Oh, well, CLC, when you get it, you will see how beautiful this bowl is. It's just not wanting to show in the light. So going once for CLC at 15, going once. Really cool. Going once for Fostoria, $15. Going twice. It's very cool. It's very different. Great collectible for glassware. Going twice. And sold to CLC. Okay, you got a great deal there. Super deal there, Connie. So that's great. So pretty. Okay. Oh, the next thing I have, I also have to thank Julie. She was she's my ID girl this week for some reason. She just was smart, smart, smart. Well, not that she's not always smart. Julie's always smart. But she, she knew what this was and I didn't. So this came in that jewelry lot that I found the Sherman beautiful uh, rhinestone necklace. And it is two, this is like a sweater clip. Yeah, bravo, Julie, thank you. <laughs> I didn't, that didn't come out very well. So thank you for saving me there, Amy. <laughs> Julie and I are good friends, so she understands me. My babbling sometimes isn't the greatest here. So forgive me, Julie. Um, so this is a butterfly wing painted sweater clip. So what it is, is it's a butterfly wing that they reverse paint apparently onto. Is that right, Julie? You could talk about it in the chat. But let me, and so like there's palm trees. I'm gonna get this to really focus because it's really different. Very, very collectible. <laughs> yeah, Julie, are you sticking your tongue out? At me, I don't blame you. You just go right ahead and stick your tongue out. Because that wasn't. Hmm. Let's try with the other hand. Sometimes it's just a switch of the hand and it works. But there's palm trees. Oh, there. Now, can you see? Yeah, there we go. Palm trees on a butterfly wing. 
and this is like a sweater clip or a fur clip or you could use it on um you know if you have one of these kinds of you know shawly things you could put one on either side of that too it would look neat that way um you remember these <laughs> you remember these do you okay so they're really neat so the butterfly wing and very collectible again worth money i'm giving you a deal here as well so they're 15 dollars sweater clips for 15 dollars butterfly wing number 27 for this thank you julie thank you for explaining 15 dollars number 27 70s you think okay i would have said older but okay reverse painted glass palm trees of the background is an exotic butterfly wing yeah so when like i look i'm not you're not going to see this on camera but when i look at it i can see the butterfly wing kind of being opalescent in the background it's really incredible yeah it's an actual butterfly wing what they painted isn't that cool I know for $15 too. That's a steal, you guys. $15, number 27. <laughs> yeah, real one. Cool, eh? So different. If you look that up too, with like Google um, butterfly wing um, jewelry, and you'll see see what it you know goes for and so on. Okay, the next thing I have is I have this really pretty little demi tasse. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, proud American. One on your on your tube. One on your toupee. <laughs> and one on your ear. Yeah, and then keep that toupee in place. Yeah, you're dap. You'd be dapper too. You get all the girls swooning over you. So this is a little little. Um, uh, demi tasse or so espresso um, cup, <laughs> really pretty. So turquoise kind of leaves and then a berry um, with a nice gold band. And it looks like brand new, barely used. It's got the England stamp at the bottom. See that, England. And then on here, you can see it's Johnson Brothers and the older stamp of Joe Johnson Brothers and by and I believe by is the pattern nut name. And there's the saucer. So really cute. <laughs> he call you a trendsetter, won't you be? <laughs> won't you be the trendsetter? <laughs> so $12, number 41. $12, number 41 for this really cute little espresso cup. <laughs> to have your strong shots of coffee in the morning to get your day going okay no, oh, okay so the next thing i have oh i just love these i don't have pierced ears if you've noticed i don't wear earrings i, I they bother me so i just don't wear them but i love buying them because i i love buying them from others that can wear them um and look at these ones. These are just so neat. You hold them, you can really see them because the, the detail is really quite, quite neat for these ones. Okay, come on. So what they are is there's, it's like a turquoise stone in the middle and they do feel to me to be glass. I'm pretty sure they're glass, not plastic. Let me see cold to the touch mm -hmm. Hmm. it's hard to tell on these ones but they are really really cute little daisies there we go and then that that center stone is is kind of got that cross hatch to it right so really really detailed and it's on a gold tone sort of setting and I, I called them daisies because they to me they really look like daisies. I think they're just so great for for the summer. Hey, soul Nate, nice to see you. So great for the summer. Very cute. Oh hi, Barbly. <laughs> Opals. Mm. I, I you know I if anything I would call it milk glass. Um, who asked me that? Um, Jenny, yeah, I would call them, I would say it's more milk glass 
Uh, that would be more what it looks like to me. Now, what did you say there? Probably not older, just a better memory. <laughs> that must be about something else. <laughs> oh, okay, about remembering the dates on stuff, yeah. About the butterfly painted wing or butterfly wing jewelry there. Okay. And skunky junks here. Oh, great. Yeah. So there's really neat little earrings there. I thought those were to be really fun for the summer. So these earrings are $15 and they're number 12. $15, number 12 for this really pretty set of earrings. <laughs> and Cheryl Ross, hi, Cheryl. Nice to see you. How are you tonight? Great. All righty. Where was I? Oh, some tablecloths. How about some tablecloths? Do you guys like linens? Okay. Okay. So I've got a few here. I've got the first one I have. Um, this one, I'm just going to sell it a straight $18. Um, I'm going to push this out a little bit so that I can show you this a little bit longer here. Um, okay. Can you see the pattern on this one? So it's yellow, and then there's um, pink flowers and yellow flowers and green leaves. And I've got the dimensions of it as well. Come up closer so you can see that too. I didn't see any stains on it. I looked. Um, if they are, they're super faint. You know, it's in really good shape. Needs an ironing, but but you know, in really good shape, very retro. It is 60 inches by 52. So it's a rectangle, 60 inches by 52. Okay. Um, so this is $18 and it's number nine, $18, number nine for this gorgeous mid-century big tablecloth, yeah. Yeah, 60 by 52. That's a pretty good size. Mm -hmm. Boy, I should have ironed it, shouldn't I? Have? Sorry, guys. And just to give you a sense of the colors. Yeah, it's a really pretty buttery yellow. Absolutely. Okay. All right. What's next on my list? Oh, the other two. Okay, so the other two tablecloths that I have. These are also, these ones are... Very, very mid-century looking to me. So there's two of them. And I'm going to start it off at, what did I think here for these? I'm starting this off at $8 for the pair. $8 for the pair. So you can start us off. Julie, would you mind putting start at eight? So these are a um, smaller tablecloth. Okay, so that's them folded in half. Um, so nice uh, kind of. I would call these tiger lilies, right? Tiger lilies, I think, on this one. And then the other one is the same. They're the same size. Or pre I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're the same size. Oh, I measured them and I didn't write it down. So let me remeasure it here. They're almost square, but they're not quite. So 15, if I remember right, it's just, well, let me just remeasure it quickly just so I don't get it right. That's 30, and I think it was... 40, yeah, so about 40 by about 30, 16, 32, 40 by 32, okay, so that's the first one, it's like orange tiger lily, so I've got $10 there for Teresa Lean, yeah, really good size for like a little card table or side table, and then this is the other one. And it's bright yellow tiger lilies. So same pattern, but just all yellows and golds this time. Same size. Pretty sure they're exact same size. Let's just make sure. Yeah, exactly the same size. Okay. So we've got 14 for Teresa Lean. 14 for Teresa Lean. Yeah, it's hard to find these, hey, this size. 
um, you know, I don't see them very often in this size. I see often the big ones. Mm -hmm. Really fun colors. Great for summer decor. Absolutely awesome for summer decor. Let's move up here a bit. Okay. And we've got 16 for Lisa. 16 for Lisa. Amy's out. Okay. 16 for Lisa. <laughs> Who are you crushing on? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody you're crushing on, but he's too young. Yeah, love the colors. Yeah, really fun, really fun colors. So you're out. So is Lisa the top bid? Going once for Lisa at 16. Going once. Going twice. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Jose. So sweet. <laughs> I'm wearing the lipstick from Hannah that she gave me at Christmas. So maybe that's it. <laughs> going twice. And I'm going to say sold. Sold to Lisa, right? At the high bid. Yeah, Lisa. You got it, Lisa. Okay, so 16 for Lisa. Great. Thank you, guys. Okay. Um, the next thing I have is a beautiful teacup. Now this is a um, Royal Albert, I believe, yeah. Yeah, Royal Albert teacup. Beautiful, again, summery flowers. That's why I pulled it. I thought it was really fun for summer. We're a yellow, we're on a kind of yellow theme tonight, aren't we a bit? So that's the, uh, the pattern there. It's in great shape, fantastic shape. It's got the Royal Albert bone china. Come on, camera. Um, let's try it on this one. That may be better. Hmm. <laughs> Just doesn't want to focus there, does it? Okay. Well, you'll have to trust me. <laughs> it's Royal Albert. Royal Albert, and this uh, tea, uh, teacup is a very good deal at $12, number 10, $12, number 10 for this Royal Albert, very pretty summery teacup, just gorgeous. You're good on brooches, okay. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, okay. The next thing I have is this fun cocktail shaker, and it's a Ray Dunn, a Ray Dunn cocktail shaker that says 5 p.m. Um, oh, 10 for uh, so you'd like that teacup, CC Go? You got it. You got it. So, this Ray Dunn uh, cocktail shaker is fun. It's you know, got a lid, and then it's got the ring in it as well. Um, and then you've got the holes to pour out your your cocktail. And it's got to be 5 p.m. somewhere all the time, right, for a cocktail. So this Ray Dunn, it's always 5 p.m. somewhere. <laughs> it's $9, and it's number 67. $9, number 67. This is right up your alley, is it? <laughs> For the, it's a good size cocktail shaker too, hey? <laughs> so a few martinis in there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Redone, okay. We get Redone collectors in the house. Uh, the next thing I have is a necklace. And it's neat. It's like a layer, two layered ha homemade necklaces or handmade necklaces. I shouldn't say homemade, handmade. Um, and they're stone. So these are all stone. So I'll show you the first one. I like the clasp on it. Pretty sure it's sterling because it's, you know, got that, that uh, sterling sort of 
um, tarnish to it. And then the beads, you know, are really nice. So now if you don't like the length or whatever, you could cut it up and use the stones and, you know, remake it into one, lo one longer necklace. But I just think they're really neat. And then here's the other one with a big pink rose quartz looking stone. Gee, my camera does not want to cooperate tonight, does it? Let's get this a little bit closer here. There we go. So it looks kind of really neat with, a, as I say, like a layer, right, of the two. You could layer the two. And let's see what the dimensions are here. <laughs> you guys. So 16 inches for the longer one. And I'm guessing it's like, well, 15, oh yeah, maybe 15, let's see. Yeah, 15 before the, like, before this, this um, stone here, right? So sort of 15, 16, okay? 15, 16. Sometimes, Amy, sometimes I get all Canadian, sometimes I get all, but mostly I get Americans. It's it's funny. It, it does fluctuate much more, though, and I'll have to start charging than Canadian, hey? So $15, number 28. $15, number 28 for the layered necklaces. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't that be fun if we all could meet up? Yeah, for sure. So those are really neat, those layers. K yeah, Canada, Canada, Canada. <laughs> this, yes, we did give you William Shatner. That's right. Absolutely, we did. Okay, so that's the stone ones. Oh, and then I have one place setting <laughs> of these really interesting gold, um, Gold-plated um, Oneida Community Gold Electroplated Stainless, or and then stainless on the on the blade there. Um, play setting. So this would be really fun for a breakfast tray, right? To have sort of a, a set that you use when you're doing breakfast in bed, um, right? Kind of fun, different, and they are absolutely brand new. Like, like they came in like the little you know, I've got these little bags that they came in. Where did I put them? But the little plastic bags, they came in the sleeve, right? I got it as, as a set. So really fun, really fun set. So Oneida Community Gold Electroplated Play Setting. The great pattern, really ornate kind of fun pattern. So this uh, set of Oneida is $14 and it's number 59. $14, number 59, again, great deal for this place setting. Yeah, you're going to come. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you're going to come, Saul, Nate. We really want to see you. We really want to meet you. Breakfast in bed, is that a thing? Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's definitely a thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Okay, now the last thing I got um, is some really amazing postcards. So I'm going to do this as an offer up, and I'm going to start it at 15 for the set. Now there's seven, there's 10 in the set, and some of these postcards, guys, they're worth $15 all on their own. Okay, because these are rare, really collectible postcards. I bought a set. I bought a collector's um, like a collection of postcards, right, for, from a collector. And they're just really different and really unique. And uh, so I'll start showing you them, them. Some of them are signed and, I mean, have, you know, letters on the back. Some of them are brand new or, you know, non-used. So this is one of the examples that is an unused one. So it says, I'm lonely without you. And there's her, and her you know, sweetheart and her cat. And there's the back of it. So 
so it's definitely an older card and then this one is uh, it kind of pairs with it it says only blasting will part us so kind of good for you know if you want to send a little love note to somebody right only blasting will part us <laughs> So we start off us off at a fifteen dollars. Starts the bidding. Hey, Angela, nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> and you're going to come back to Victoria, though, right, Amy? I think you said that you were going to do that when you retire, which is neat. That's where Hannah is. So, um, and then there's this one. It's like an old retro diner postcard, um, and says Buffalo. Buffalo's Theater Restaurant, Shami, home of the revolving bar. <laughs> so I'll hold it up so you can see the revolving bar here. Hopefully. Now this one again is a brand new one. It's not been used. Okay, so there it's focusing. So it says on the back, Paul Am Amagon's Shami, air conditioned. The nation's, nation's smartest theater restaurant, 311 Delaware Avenue, Buffalo, New York. From dusk till dawn, offering the finest cuisine, beverages, and entertainment. Lighted exclusive with a mile of neon tubing on the direct route to Niagara Falls in Canada. Never a cover charge. Jack Good, managing director. Buffalo, the city of neighbors. Diner served every or dinner served every evening. <laughs> kind of fun, right? So that's a really neat one. Uh, what was that about? So neat that. Uh oh. Something not good there. Oh, I missed it. I'll have to read later. Sorry, Soul Nate, if I missed something. Oh, she's your mom's not doing well. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm sorry, honey. Really sorry to hear that. Hmm. That's so hard because I know her, her health has been up and down, right? Oh. Well, you're a good son, right? You're a really good son to be there to take care of them. And you'll have some precious time with them at the, you know, right now. So thank you for doing that for them. I mean, it's a thankless job sometimes, right? Oh, it's the father that's not doing well. Oh, oh, Nate. He's 90. Okay. Oh, dear. Hang in there. Hang in there, Nate. Hang in there. Mm. Yeah, we've got some people going through some really tough times in our in our community. And that's one of the things that we're so good at, aren't we, is, is supporting each other to to really be there for each other. And I, that's to me, one of the most valuable things, you know, I don't need to sell a thing. I, I, this, this is so important to be here for people when they're going through a rough time and support them. So my love goes out to you for sure. So Nate. Yeah. Oh dear. Your mom's good and your father's not well. Okay. It's kind of expected. Oh, but still, it's not easy though, is it? even when it's expected. Yeah. Mwah. To you, soul mate. Oh, okay. So there's a revolving restaurant one. And sorry, did we get any bids? Uh, I think we were at 15, right? For, I think I saw um, Amy. Anybody? Amy, did you put 15 in? For some reason, I don't see it now. To start us off. Yes, Amy at 15. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then there's this one. It's really fun. It says, school days. Have faith in your complexion, but keep your powder dry. <laughs> and this one is a, a letter on the back. And it's really fun. Letter and postmarked with a stone old stamp. And it says, Miss Lizzie McIntosh, Central Newen, Colchester Co. So what's that, Colorado? Or, but then it says NS. So that's Nova Scotia, isn't it? Mm. So, hmm, not sure there. 
Dear Lizzie, I just thought you might like a little advice on the matters, so I sent it. Ophelia may be mad, but she still has quite a few things to give away, especially advice, which costs nothing. BML. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> School days. Have faith in your complexion, but keep your powder dry. <laughs> now, what I found out too, and I should have looked this up, but so somebody quickly Google it and see if this is worth $500. But do you see how <laughs> that at the bottom it's signed there by the artist? So this one is signed D Wix, I think it is. W I, I want to say C. It says design copyrighted by Raphael, Raphael, R A P H A E L, Tuck and Sons Co. Limited, New York. So ones that are signed by the artist can actually be worth quite a bit of money. So you might be getting an amazing piece to your collection there. Um, then there's this one that's really neat. It's like a photograph card postcard and it says going some <laughs> going some and what I love the most uh, is the the kind of letter on this one so do you see that it's postmarked 1911 okay Colchester County okay thank you okay um February 13 1911 and this one's postmarked Buffalo New York February the 13th 11.30 p.m. 1911. It's a really good postmark on this. Again, that makes it valuable as well with the postmark I found out. Really good clear postmark. So it says, February 13, 1911. I suppose you were the girl in the swing for a couple of days in Phila. So I guess it's Philadelphia, right? Um, from Dearest Mike. Look at how Mike wrote, wrote his name with an arrow. <laughs> Isn't that fun? <laughs> I thought that one was really fun. <laughs> Aren't these cool? I know. And then look at Mike was a little bit of a no no no, a little bit of a flirt that Mike cuz here's another card. And it says on the bottom there, should old acquaint should old acquaintance be forgot? Yep, yeah, sometimes. Yes, sometimes. <laughs> She's showing off her her ankles. <gasps> How scandalous. And this one is Buffalo, New York, August 4th, 1230 p.m. and on 1909. And it's also from Mike, but it's to a different woman. Hmm. So this one <laughs> says, uh-oh, you cradle robber. You look good to me, Mike. That's what it says on the back of that one. Isn't that fun? Isn't that super fun? Oh, I just think these are awesome. Are we still at 15? I'm reading these and I haven't been looking at the chat. 15. Are we still at 15 for these? Yeah, Amy's at 15. Okay, great deal. Okay, Amy, look at this one. Look at this one. Now, this one is probably worth about 25 bucks on its own. Look at it. It's leather. It's made of leather. Now, you stop, George. It says, and then it says, a joy from, and then you're supposed to put your name, and there is a name, but it's kind of faded over time there. But it was actually mailed. Look, it's got the postmark and everything. And in the old days, apparently, too, they would write the address with, like, the postcard part, they would actually write on the front, and I'll show you that in a minute, too. Look at that, a leather postcard. I couldn't believe it. How cool is that? 16 for Proud American? Yeah, I mean, you can pay 16. You could probably easily get $16 for that. Like, that's that's so cool. Then there's this one that I think is also really neat. Look at this one. Got a feather on her hat. And it's actually a real ostrich feather. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. So cool so cool so it says yeah i know i'd never seen a leather one either thank you gary i guess it is for the pretty remembrance very sweet of you to think of me 
uh, something I'm, I can't read it. Trust you are all well, lots of bad weather here and plus every day, happy new year, something like that. And then something else I can't read. But this is a, this tells you it's a really old postcard because in the very beginning, postcards you wrote on the bottom like that, not on the back. You just put the address on the back. So there's the, the back of it. Isn't that incredible? Isn't that incredible? So neat. Like if you ever wanted, to, no, it's not Mike's work again. <laughs> But if you wanted to start a postcode postcard collection, this would be a really great place to start, right? It would be a really neat thing to do. You could even give it to somebody you think likes them and maybe wants to start a postcard collection. Now, here's another really, really cool one. This is an actual photograph, right? Postcard. Again, those are super collectible as well because old photograph postcards are rare. And this one says... The Rotofo postcard, um, and there's a letter, Helston, June 10th, 1904. Dear Norman, how are you? Mind the cows, I think it is, and keep well till I come home again. Much love to you all. Your affectionate father, W.M.F. Egg. So it's Norman Egg, and the Egg's the last name from in Montreal. Isn't that fun? And again, a really neat postmark and a really, really neat photograph of a girl putting her, pulling up her, her socks. Aren't these fun postcards? I know, I thought so too. So where are we at? Um, hi, is Amy at 17? Okay, thank you, Julie. I really appreciate your help tonight. That's awesome. And then the last one is another one that's signed by the artist. So again, this should be worth some money. So this is a really neat sepia toned one. And it said, and I don't know if you can, can you see what it is that he's, it says bank there. There's a little, little bank. Okay. And it's signed and it says Tom Yao, T-O-M and then Y-A-O is the artist. If I had a dime, I'd sit up all night and watch it, it being the bank. <laughs> and this just says love from Josie and, um, and then the address. Really cool. And it is postmarked Atlantic City, New, Atlantic City, New Jersey, uh, July the 22nd, 1911. So these are all from the early 1900s. Really, really cool postcards. So we've got $18 for the 10 postcards. 20 from Jeannie plus one. 20. 20 for Jeannie. That's a great deal because, man, that's like $2 a postcard. When some of these are probably worth $20, $20 easily. Okay. Really good deal. $20 for Jenny plus one. Just go through them all again real quick. 22 for Amy. And the, the nice thing about these is that, you know, the shipping is low on them, right? This leather one, it's really crazy cool. And then this one, this mic one, the other mic one. And then this one, the school days one with a signed off artist, this cool retro kind of diner. I tried to kind of mix them up and make a really good assortment. And then these two that I think look really neat together too. You could frame them together. You're rooting for Mike. <laughs> You're rooting for Mike. Okay, so who we got? We got Julie, Amy at 22. Jenny, are you out or are you still bidding? Amy at 22. 
We'll call it once. Jenny, let me know if you're out. 24 for Jenny. 24 for Jenny. 24 for Jenny. You're in. Okay, Amy. So it's between Amy and Jenny, right? Amy's out. Okay, Jenny, you got him for 24. That's a really good deal. And what's neat, Jenny, is, um, you know, this is all you buy tonight. I can ship that letter rate, right? It'll be cheap to ship, too. Okay. So that's the postcard. So then I have to do the, let's do the $10 off. Okay. So let me share my screen and do the random number draw. <laughs> um, how do I do that? I just go here, I guess. I go here. Okay, so tonight I have 25 items. I'm going to generate that. Number three. Okay, that was the robot. So I'm going to generate again because we still haven't sold that. And then that, that one we didn't sell number one. Oh, I should have guessed gone through the unsold first. Number 17. Okay, yeah. You know what? I'm going to go through the unsolds and then I'll come back and do this just in case we have others that are going to do that. Thank you, Amy. Yes, I forgot to do the unsolds. Okay, so let's start again. So the crocheted table runner. Where did I put that? <laughs> here it is this is the first thing i showed for six six dollars six dollars number 56 six dollars number 56 okay so that's the first thing uh the robot where's the robot this little tin robot is nine dollars number 54 nine dollars number 54 for the tin robot, neat decor item. Uh, the Swedish designer mug, this cool turquoise Harlequin mug by the uh, Swedish designer, Anna Elzer Oskarsson, Oskarsson uh, is $12, number 32 for that, $12, number 32. Um, the cookie cutters, all the cookie cutters so there's the um the fish and the flower the summer themes right and the butterfly and the crab and the fish and the sun i like the sun so that's one two three four five six of them and they were cookie cutters nine dollars number 90 nine zero ninety okay maggie let's see now here number 33 was barb okay 33 barb lc the wall the the okay that was the um Let's see here. You wanted the bowl, right? The wooden bowl. Okay. And then um, 32 goes to Maggie. Maggie. So that's the Harlequin mug. Okay. And give to Maggie. Yeah, Maggie was first. I see Maggie first. Okay. And then... Um, the okay so those cookie cutters were nine dollars number 90 and then the next thing i have is the magazine the mechanics illustrated 1951 mechanics illustrated magazine and that is six dollars number 82 82 for that one um and then the butterfly wing uh, sweater clip, really collectible butterfly wing with the palm tree pin, uh, sweater pin. That was $15, number 27. 
Um, the little espresso cup. This little espresso cup. The Johnson's brother, Johnson brothers, little espresso cup. The turquoise, turquoise and yellow. This is um, twelve dollars, number forty-one, forty-one for that. Um, the oh, the Daisy earrings. These ones really cute for summer. Daisy gold tone earrings. Um, Fifteen dollars, number twelve. Fifteen dollars, number twelve. For those the larger tablecloth the smaller one sold but the, the larger one is still available this one the yellow sort of buttery yellow and pink flowers uh, that's eighteen dollars number nine eighteen dollars number nine um, and then the <laughs> The 5 p.m. somewhere uh, Ray Dunn cocktail shaker is at nine dollars, number sixty-seven, number sixty-seven for that. And the orange and pink stone layered necklaces that somebody made with the sterling silver clasp. Um, those are fifteen dollars, number twenty-eight for the pair. And the gold play setting, the gold um, plated, electroplated um, cutlery set, one play setting is $14, number 59, 59, 59. Okay, any other takers? And then I'll do the number draw again. Okay, let's do the number draw again. Okay, so share my screen. Okay. Okay, so let's generate number 14. That goes to Barb LC. Congratulations, Barb LC, for the, the friendly village mug was number 14 congrats congrats that's awesome so barb lc will be getting ten dollars off your order and you can use it towards you know i'll just do a ten dollar discount so it can either go towards shipping or, or the item cost all righty and then for those that have purchased something tonight then you can also purchase an add-on so i've got some add-on items for five dollars each so the first thing I have is I have a really neat, this again came in this, that old jewelry lot. So it's an older um, glass uh, keychain. Okay. So it's a neat, very retro, I'm thinking 60s looking keychain. So that is $5 and it's the letter K, the letter K if you're interested in that. Then I have a really sweet little turquoise bud vase, turquoise glass bud vase. And this is uh, $5, the letter T, the letter T for turquoise. If you want to add that to your order. And then I've got this really cute little miniature. Um, I'll put this down so I can show you properly. <laughs> Really cute little brown Betty kind of creamer, little miniature, cute, 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 well made. So this is $5 letter C for creamer. So T goes to Amy. Okay, you got it, Amy. Okay, that's fine, Julie. Have a good night. Go hit your hay and sleep well. No problem. Okay, so that miniature creamer was the letter C. Uh, metal buttons. I've got um, two bags of metal buttons, one bag of gold tone, one bag of silver tone. There are some really, really cool ones in here. Uh, the letter C for CLC, you got it. 
So there's some really cool ones. So I'll just show you a couple just to get me an idea. So there's this one that's kind of got black and then a gold star. There's this one that looks military to me. It's got an eagle, right? Like a crest. Okay. Um, yeah, just lots of interesting ones in there. This one looks really old. Again, looks military. So that's, and there's a whole bunch of gold ones, gold tone. These make really great magnets, by the way. You know, you could just put one of those rare earth magnets on the back and they look really neat as, as magnets. And then there's some silver ones. So there's a couple ones like this that kind of look brutalist. Um, they're neat. And there's one with a castle. <laughs> I'm gonna different. Um, so these, the two bags of metal buttons are the letter B for buttons. You'd like the two bags of metal buttons. Um, and then the final add-on I have is this really cool, now I didn't pay 20 cents. I don't know why there's 20 cents on there, but this really cool gift wrap that was 39 cents maybe they got a bargain there it was half price but it was 39 cents originally but isn't this fun retro paper great for father's day or for you know some somebody you know that's into sports um so that's the last one really cool old gift wrap uh five dollars and the letter w for w for wrap and that is a wrap. <laughs> oh, man, that was a bad one. <laughs> but we're done. So thank you, everybody, for coming tonight. If you haven't given me a thumbs up, please do. And subscribe to my channel. Oh, yeah, that would be fun for in a boy's room or even to cover something with, right? You could you could use it in, you know, people, too, do the take... Um, wooden furniture, right? And then they, they glue on really cool wrapping paper. So that would be fun in there too, yeah. Hey, Butterfly Nurse, you're coming right at the end. So nice to see you. So thanks, everybody. I really do. Uh, yeah, you can certainly do save them for next week. Sure, Amy, I will hold on to them for you. No problem. I'll put a note to do that. Great. Well, thank you, everybody. Please have... Uh, have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific for another fun sale. Barb, I got you down there for the buttons. Barb LC, you got it. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Enjoy yourself. Bye now.